Hello everybody, my name is The Random Gamer and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So, um, I'm going to give a little warning here that there may be graphical images into this video. I have no idea yet as we are about to start the game. So, let's get into it. Um, last time we left off, we um, had just finished our little second chapter with um, Connor. And it looks like we're back with Kara. Alice is sitting on the bench alone there. And Todd's passed out on the couch. Because of course he is. Anyway, probably looking for some drugs or something. I don't Dinner know what ready. he's doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Serve food. All right, so we got two plates of food over here. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I Okay. Oh, napkin. Life's funny. Well. I lost my job because of androids. And when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Well, you really didn't hire so, me. You kind of just bought me. But, okay. Say whatever you want. Androids are so fucking wonderful. Yes, I am. They never fail. They never no, tired. No, I don't. Nope. They were sad. Never. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Evidently, so, Todd. Anyway, I changed up the audio, so it will be a little louder in this video for the game What's your sounds. Problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. I don't blame her. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accounting! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! And he hit the kid. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Yeah, I don't think she is. No, it's her fault. It's not her fault, Todd. It's yours. I gotta, her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. That's what she deserves. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Huh. We have a wall. If it... Okay, so we're now doing some button mashing. If it's that easy to break through our coding... Let's try reasoning with Todd. Good old Todd. But no. Todd, it's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. Ow. Alice! Daddy's very mad! Come on. 
Come on, Todd. Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? Relax. No. Calm down. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Ooh. Watch out, Kara! Come here, bitch. My lord, I am glad I'm good at, at reaction here. Fight here. You do as I say. Oh, oh, Todd. We're going away. Come here. Oh, crap. No! I pressed B. I was doing so good earlier and I'm not doing good now. Oh god. Come back here. No, we gotta go. On to the bus. Wait, hang on. We're in the human depart compartment. Whew, what an eventful little track there. Right into, um, Right into it. Oh wow, that was one chapter already. So we're gonna do multiple chapters um, per episode. <laughs> Maybe two or three. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. We'll do three years. chapters per Every episode. time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money well, they're going to make out. Technically, depending on, on the chapter. If they're short chapters, then Come I'll on, do longer episodes. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement more chapters this whole the thing episode. has made me thirsty. Is Leo going to be back here? I have a feeling Leo's going to be back need here. need as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> Some medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? 
This is Carl Manfred's Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Yes, let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Yep. Alrighty. Leo! Hey, look. I, what I are you doing? It. You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't Leave him alone! Whoa. Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! <laughs> well, we're done to defend, evidently. We broke through our coating. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. going to destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. I feel like if I push Leo, I'm going to I'm going to end up pushing him into something. Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh, he was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. That is not true. The android. It was the android. No, it was not. Wow. So there's two different endings there. Yeah. There's two different endings for that one, and the only reason why I know that is because I've seen the Let's Play of it, and that did not happen, so, just an FYI. Why'd you kill him? What I didn't. Before you took that knife? Oh, wait, no, that's not Marcus. Never mind. That's the Android How long from were you the, in the attic. attic. Wow, we've played through to... Why didn't you even try to Connor run already. This looks like it's gonna be the last chapter here. That we're Say something, goddammit! That we're gonna play before the end of this episode. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Yeah. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> yeah. What do we have to lose? 
Thank you. Go Hank. ahead. Suspect's all yours. Wow, that's a lot of um, interrogation events scheduled. Okay, he's got some damage on him. Let's analyze him. model dried blood hit marks and oh there is one more thing evidently processing LDD LED okay now we can interrogate My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Hopefully the name will get... Oh, we want the stress to go up. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling. Like fear in humans. Hmm. So, do we want to drive his stress level down or up? Let's... Hmm. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Yeah, stress is now... Okay. If you won't talk... I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Ooh, no, that got him up. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No. That's why. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. There I just you accomplished my mission. I could I calm him all the way down. Then talk to me. Uh, it looks like... But I'm, I, I guess I'm going to have to stress him out. I can't. Choose approach. Pressure it, probe its memory, or convince it. Let's probe its you memory. You leave me no choice. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a lot of buttons. Oh, RT. There you go. Sorry, I was already pressing RB earlier. So many buttons. This is, yeah, that is your graphical warning there. Access its memory. I know what happened. Now, I don't know how Hank's gonna feel about that. What the fuck is it? It's doing? destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! 
can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Watch out! Whoa, we're dead. Holy shit! Well, there goes me not killing Connor for this whole run. I think I could have done it better. Yeah. I could have done it better. Alrighty. Um, that's going to be the end of this video. As I said, they're going to be much more easy to digest. So, if you did like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell icon. Now, see you in the next one.